Welcome to a new video, all of you craft addicts. Today in Creative Minds, we have a very special video. Because, once again, we give you subscribers what you asked us. Feel like the true king of the pirates, and ruler of the four seas. Because today, we will make Luffy Straw Hat card in style. <laughs> These are the materials you will need. Wire masking tape, either rubber fabric ribbon, markers and hot silicone. And to stick to tradition, we leave the templates as well as some reference images below. And now ready or not, let's begin. Start downloading and printing the three size templates. You must align well the two parts, creating complete circles. Then grab a few pieces of masking tape and join both sides together. Turn it over, and put one more strip on the back that covers the entire intersection. When you have done it, get a string of wire. Use it to give shape to each of the circles in the template. Starting with the biggest. We advise you to lighten multiple wire, so as not to give excess weight to the craft. To get the most perfect shape, do it little by little. Using pieces of masking tape from all the wire in sections, making it match the circle in the template. Repeat the process every few centimeters with pieces of tape. Do it slowly and patiently. Once you have the entire circumference with its shape, place one more piece of tape to join the ends of the wire. This way, leaving them firmly secured. Pull the piece out of the template and now cover the structure with more masking tape. You must cover the piece, trying not to make it too thick. Then with your hands, squeeze the tape cover tightly. Now with more wire, repeat the process with the other circles of the template until you've got all five. Next, we will trim the connecting pieces. That will complete the skeleton of the craft. You must cut pieces of wire with the length we have indicated in the templates. And now, just as before, cover all parts with masking tape. This way, you should have 8 long ones. And 16 short ones. Reserve the long ones for later. And let's move on to assemble the outer structure of the hat. For this, we will connect the larger circle to the one corresponding to the red circle. It's time to use the 16 small pieces. We will stick them to both circles using hot silicone. Place them all, and don't forget to seal the joints with more glue. And this is how it should look. Now, let's build the crown of the hat. To do this, prepare the remaining wire circles, as well as the long pieces. Start by gluing three of them as a guide in the inner circle of the structure. You must place each one at 90 degrees from the other one until you have all three. Then, using the guide pieces, place the inner circles. These should be approximately 8 centimeters from each other. When they are fixed to the structure, place the rest of the long pieces to complete the skeleton of the craft. And remember to seal all jones well with more hot glue. And it should look like this. 
Next, we are going to cover the outer structure. And for this, we are going to use some sheets of Eva rubber. In then, you must draw three equal pieces with these dimensions. Cut them and stick them to the structure with more silicone. Put glue on both circles and spokes. Place the Eva rubber little by little. Always match each piece with the base. Repeat the process with the second piece of Eva rubber. When you finish laying it, cut out the possible excess protruding on the outside. And again, do the same to cover the entire outer part of the hat. Now we're going to make the Eva rubber piece. That will cover the crown of the hat. For this, we will use a technique widely used by professional cosplayers. That is, thermoforming the Eva rubber. In our case, you must get a ball. We will use it to get the hemispherical shape we need. Let's break this down. First, place a sheet of baking paper on the Eva rubber. Then, use the hottest iron you have to heat the Eva rubber with it. Go through enough times so that the rubber is moldable enough. Then, remove the paper. Place the ball under the Eva rubber sheet and press hard against the ball. Do it before the rubber cools down, that way you will get the best result. Now cut the piece and add it into the structure. So it will look like this. We have also placed an Eva rubber strip, so that we can later place on it the characteristic red ribbon of Luffy's hat. Do not worry if it looks uneven, in fact that is better. Because in this way, we will give it a more realistic look. It's time to paint. We will use orangey yellow spray paint first. Give a very uniform layer to all the craft. Do it from the top and from the bottom. When you have covered it well with paint, let it dry for at least three hours. Once it is dry, we will draw the details with black marker. He's one of the reference images that we have left. To pin the lines of texture of the hat, as well as the outline of it. Lastly, we will paint some more shadow lines with an orange marker. You don't need to paint on all lines. A few interspersed will suffice. and do the same with inside of the hat. Finally, we will place a red ribbon around the base of the crown. Glue one end without silicone and wrap the rest of the structure with the ribbon. Give it at least a couple of laps around, and put a few more glue points along the way, to secure it even more. Finally, draw one more line on the red ribbon. And with this, we had finished our Luffy hat. Write in the comments if you liked the craft, and if you would like us to do more One Piece crafts or anything else. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just throw the like button in a thousand pieces, and click on the Go and Mary's bell to receive notifications about new videos.
A big hop, and we'll see you next time, my beloved hobbits.